What is up everybody? It's your boy Bill for anything. And this is a video that I've been like really procrastinating on making, but I think it's really, really important, especially as we go into 2019. I think this is a video that's gonna help a lot of you guys out there. All right. So we're gonna talk about how to be alone, okay? Because I'm sure there's gonna be a couple of you people out there who are watching this video that maybe you just came out of a you know relationship, maybe you just you know, you're not getting along with your family, so you kind of doing your own thing, or maybe you just, you know, had to separate from your friends that you've known for a long time, and you got to kind of start all over. I'm talking about, like, being alone, right? I'm sure we all have, like, that one friend where they always got to be in a relationship, right? They hop from one relationship to the next, or maybe you have that friend who's, like, they always got to be around people, right? You go over their place, there's always two or three people there, you know, they, they very rarely to themselves, right? And there's, the, there's a name for this, right? There's introverts and there's extroverts, right? And I'm going to talk about this because I think this is very important. I need you guys to understand something before I continue. I am not advocating or saying that it is good to be by yourself all the time and not have any type of social interaction. I don't think, you know, we're not meant as human beings to not have any type of contact with anybody. I'm definitely not advocating or saying that. However, however, <laughs> there's a difference between you being needing people to be around you and you wanting people to be around you, right? So just like there's a difference between being alone and lonely. So right now I'm doing this video and I'm alone, right? We're going we gonna to test this for a second. Anybody in here? Say, say something if you ain't here. All right. So there's nobody in here. So we alone. It's me and you right now, right? I ain't lonely, okay? It's a Sunday. It's a nice day. You know, I'm going to be watching some football. I make some food, clean the place. Far from lonely, right? But I'm alone. And so that's what I want to help you guys out with because you need to understand that nobody, if you're waiting for somebody to come into your life, that's going to constantly entertain you, that's going to solve all your problems, fill in that gap of time that you have in your life, you are sadly, sadly mistaken, okay? Sadly mistaken. Because what's going to happen is you're going to wear down on them or they're going to wear down on you, okay? And it's just not going to end good. Here's the reality of the situation. Here's what I need you guys to focus on, especially going into 2019 or even just starting today. You got to really get to know yourself, okay? Like, and I'm going to give you some tips because because I know it's easy to just leave it at that. It's like, well, you know, you're in your own body. This is, this is you, it's always going to be you, okay? You got to get to know yourself and that takes time, all right? Because... If you're somebody who don't know how to operate, you don't know things that you enjoy, things that you like, things that set you on fire, and you just, you rely on somebody else in order to do that for you, you're never going to be happy. You're never going to be happy because it's hard enough to keep yourself happy at times, let alone to have to always make somebody else happy. And so the biggest reason why people can't stand being alone it's because they don't know themselves. So it's like, it's like you're with a stranger. And nobody wants to just be sitting around with a stranger, somebody who they don't know. And so if you don't know yourself, it's like, what do you do next? That's how you feel. So it's important for you to try different things and see what it is that you like and have hobbies and things that you can do on your own. So that way, when you do meet people and you go out to do things and you suggest things, you, you may make a good relationship with somebody who's into the things that you're into. I'll give you an example, right? Just the other night, I took somebody to the gun range. And this is somebody who's never, ever shot a gun in their life, so they say, right? Never held a gun before. So I showed them the basics, showed them, you know, how to do things, told them stay calm, you know, point, look through this, you know, hold the gun tight, you know? Aim that way. Don't aim at me. You know, the basic stuff, right? And I kid you not, the second shot that the person took, damn near dead center in the middle, bullseye, right? And the person was like, wow, I didn't even know, like, 
I could do that. And you know, the night went on and they was just, you know, shooting and they, they got into the feel of it. And all of a sudden, at the end of the night, they're like, damn, that was fun. That's something I would do again. But prior to that moment, there was hesitation. Prior to that moment, there was a bit of nervousness and I felt it. And I said, look, I get it. You know, it's the first time trying something, a gun is intimidating. You need to try things that you may not even know that you're good at. Here's a couple things that I, that I like to do, right? If somebody asks me, like, hey, what are your hobbies or what do you like to do? I'm going to tell you I like to go to the gun range. I'm going to tell you I like to ride my bike. I'm going to tell you I like to go to the art museum. I'm going to tell you I like movies. I'm going to tell you I like to do photography. I like to go by the lakes. How did I find those things out? All those things I had to do on my own first to see, like, okay, is this something that I enjoy doing, right? So that way... When I meet certain people, certain people, what you'll find in your life is that they're going to fall within a certain category, right? And I'm sure you've had this feeling where you've talked to some people and it's like you really connect with them on this one particular area, right? So we all have that friend where, you know, that might be your gym buddy. You know, every time y'all text, y'all talking about workouts. You might have your friend that's like they really into movies like you. You talk to them, the basis of your conversation is mostly around that. Maybe you got a friend that you talk to about sports. You know, you're going to have certain people in your life that you just connect with more on certain topics. And these are people who are all walks of life, right? Like you just meet them right away. You find that common ground. And it's like, man, you feel like you've known them all your life. So there's always going to be people like that in your life that's going to fit in certain categories. Now, if you're really lucky, you meet somebody that's willing to be in other categories with you and you're willing to go into other categories uh, that they that they find interest in as well. And you know, you guys can mesh. But none of that's going to work. None of that is important if you're somebody who, when you're alone, you don't know what to do, right? You don't, you, you're, you need that interaction. Guys, it's okay to be around people. I love to be around people. Don't get it twisted. However, <laughs> however, up until a certain point in time. After that, it's like, look, I'm ready to go. I'm, I want to be in my own space. I want to do my own thing, right? So it's, it's okay. You know, I like to be in a company with good people, have good conversation. I love to be around, you know, nice looking women, etc. There's nothing wrong with that. Do I need that? Is that going to make me function? Is that the only thing that makes me happy? Absolutely not. I can rock out and do my own thing. I can enjoy my day. I can have fun at home. My home is a resort <laughs> in my eyes. You see what I'm saying? I made it that way because I surrounded myself with things that I enjoy. You got to do the same thing. You got to have things in your environment that you enjoy, that stimulates your mind, okay? Whether that's a, a good book, whether that's, you know, if you like to do art, a blank canvas, something that you could just draw on, you gotta have things around you that's just like, uh, it just inspires you. And you don't need to go outside of your bubble in order to do that, okay? So that's my video for today, guys. I just really felt the need to tell you guys that because I feel like it could help some of you out there, you know, especially if you're going through things. You need to understand it's not about what's going on on the outside or anybody else. It's what's going on with you. So if you really, really dial into yourself and really get to know yourself and enjoy the process of knowing yourself, okay, you're going to be a better person for you and you're going to be a better person for whoever it is that you bring into your life because they're going to see a person that's happy. They're going to see a person that likes to do things and they're going to want to be a part of that. And then luckily for you, they feel the same way about themselves and you can be a part of their life. So I'm just giving you some game. That was it, you guys. It's your boy, Bill, for anything. If you're not subscribed, hit that subscribe button. Like this video. Share it with people that you feel is going to benefit from this. And again, guys, thank you. Thank you for another great year. I appreciate all the love, all the comments. Check out some of my other videos, my playlist, and all that good stuff, you guys. I will catch you on the next video. Peace and love. I'm out.